everybody, it's Debbie. You're at your home, your happy place, and we are ready to decorate as the clock strikes. Um, okay, I've been putting off, I mean, I'm gonna show you the mess down here. I'll just scan it down for you. I've already, uh, so there's the two boxes that represent the tree that's gonna go there. And then the rest of it is stuff we've been hauling back and forth. Oh, actually, there's another tree there. Yeah, hauling back and forth from Lake St. Louis. So, and then up there, way up there, yeah, that that's, was my, okay, let me see how many of these I'm going to need. I have a feeling I'm short, which is why I absolutely have to get it done today because it is Cyber Monday. This isn't going to show on Cyber Monday. I know that because I'm trying to pre-record. Um, but anyway... I'm going to start the garland. I have very little else. I mean, there's some ribbon that I'll probably add to it. It's not gonna have picks on it this year. It's just gonna be basic because I just don't have enough. This is a big space. I don't have the stuff. I don't, I don't have the money to go buy it. And I don't even know what I want. I really don't wanna spend money on something until I'm like, oh yes, this is what I want. Even if it's just for that year, at least. I don't even know. I mean, I got so basic here, I'll show you. With the with the ornaments for the tree that's gonna go in here, my idea was let's get some silver and gold, and then I can always add whatever other colors I want to it. I don't even think these are going to be enough. I mean, I have several boxes, but I don't think it's enough. And I'm a little worried that they're all going to be sold out. But it, it is what it is. I I got started. And um, we have random. This year, it's just going to be a lot of random ornaments that are left over from other trees to go on this. But I don't even know if I'll get to that today. I just need to get this started. So... I'm gonna start hanging. Um, at some point when I get maybe on this part, I'll film, but I'm not gonna film all the way up there. I don't even think I can. So, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll subscribe. And all my subscribers, thanks for coming back. And please comment and like and share if you've got a social media, because the more the merrier. And I want a Merry Christmas. So it's going well. Um, I bought, this is what I've used in the past, these zip ties. I get the green ones because they melt away in your garland and they hold everything secure. I got the long ones, eight inch. Now, maybe they come in 12. I bet they do. But not at the store I was at when I bought them. And um, these are not long enough to go over the brown part of our rail and grab a branch. So fortunately they're really heavy gauged wire. So I'm just twisting branches together underneath to hold on. So I'm gonna show you how it's going so far. Okay, there they are. Um, I'm not loving how I fluffed the first one out. <laughs> and you know, in the future I will measure, I think I'm, I did really good on the second one. That one's really great. Um, and I don't mind the third one. The first one I flubbed up a bit, but the curve is going differently. It's an out curve. So I'll give you a close up of these. Boy, I'm out of breath, up and down. And you'll see all my messes because not only are we decorating, but we're unpacking. Um, it gets a little scary when I lean over to fluff. It is a very pretty garland. This is a national tree company and they have wreaths and all kinds of things on Amazon. And I'll put a link below. These are lighted. Whether I'll be able to light mine is a whole nother story because the builder did not want to put anything in our rotunda. We had to fight to get a hidden plug down there so that we could put our tree up. And fortunately we won that argument, but there's no electric outlets. Uh, well, there is one in the hallway across from the rail. So I'm, I'm a little saddened by that, but anyway, we'll see what happens. But I think so far so good, right?
okay. It only took five of these, if I'm counting right. Three, one, two, three, oh, four. Okay, four, and then five, six. Okay, so it took six. So I got halfway through my stash. Um, okay, I'm gonna go look. I know I have somewhere uh, a bin full of ribbon. So, so I'm gonna look for the one that has the most ribbon or the one that's the easiest to buy more to match. I'm hoping, I mean, I know I have a lot of buffalo plaid, but that's not really what I wanna do. I like that for a smaller space, not for the grand entry. And I may try something kind of unusual. I don't know if I have enough, but we'll see. I'm gonna look for the bows and get, get busy with that, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. I have a winner. So I used to always hang my windows where, I don't know what sash windows like. I don't know, the top came down and the bottom came up. So I always used ribbons out of the top to hold my wreaths on the outside. These windows don't do that at all, and they don't even all open. So I've had different ribbons over the years because I would try different things. But I see three, maybe four, no, just three. I see three of these. They're not the best uh, because they're see-through. Um, and I have more of, well, it looks like there's only two of these, but this is just like the gold stuff I used, which would be a sparkly mess, but you wouldn't see through it. And while wow, this looks so awesome, don't know that I could get any more. And I think I've only got, well, maybe I have three. Let's see. Okay. Maybe gold. Maybe that's the one. Well, you guys will find out. I'm gonna start working. Okay, with nothing. And I'm gonna turn you over here and show you what I started doing. So I went with the red because I had the most of it. And it's not very substantial. I may go back in with, if I can figure out how to use the gold, I might put the gold underneath it. But I'm gonna show you a close up of what I'm doing here. I have these luminaries. I wasn't. I thought I might put them out on the sidewalk, but they're still working on our landscaping. I mean, literally working on it this week. So I just had this. You know, I I didn't have picks and I didn't have ornaments. I had nothing really to add to this. And I thought, what if I took some of my luminaries and did every other because I didn't have enough for every. And I think that might have been overdone. And I still might do something in the center. I just don't know what. Anyway, there it is. I really like it. So all I'm doing is I'm taking in the spot where I've attached my, um, you know, my garland. I'm taking this and wrapping it around once and doing a knot. Then I'm making a bow and coming around and tie and taking the tails of that knot and tying my bow on and fluffing it out. And then I'm just wrapping a piece of the greens or two around the luminary. And I have a whole box of little um, votives that are LED. They're not the greatest. I'm gonna look and see if I get something a little more substantial because that could be, especially if it was the ones I have are not on, I don't think they're on remote control. It would be awesome. Don't you think? Especially if I'm not able to light these. Um, anyway, I'm loving it. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Okay, I'm still working away at the at the garland. Um, standing up here in the whited out area of my rotunda. Um, oh, and I, I don't usually talk to you with my Invisalign in. So if you hear me... I mean, you press on them and it, it, I kind of like pushing my teeth together. Anyway, I got about hmm, 13 more weeks of them. Maybe only, no, maybe only 12 more weeks to go. Yeah. So um, anyway, that's a whole nother story. Nobody's interested in. 
Why did I call? Why did I call you? It's like I'm calling you because I turn you off and then I work for a while. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I decided I had hung some bells. I'd found just one little batch of hanging bells. They were cowbells um, at TJ Maxx, and I had hung them down at the bottom of the staircase. And I just kept thinking, what do I want to do in the in between of these lanterns, if anything? And I just, I really wanted to try something. So um, Cyber Monday, of course they're not on sale. Well, maybe they were. Actually, I did get a coupon of 10% off because I bought more than one. So I bought these little bells. I am gonna link them below, but you guys, uh, it, at the time it said there were only 10 left and I bought eight. So you may not be able to get them right now. Maybe next year, I don't know. It's a mixture of bells. So they are gold, but some of them are the round, like jingle bells, and some of them are uh, the bell-shaped bell, and then some are um, cowbell. So there's like five bells per strand. So I think that's gonna be kind of pretty. And that's where I'm at. I've just finished all the red bows, and I think I'm gonna go in. I'll show you what I'm looking at doing over here. So I'm looking at just kind of playing in a little bit of gold. I don't want to go out as much as I have the red, just a little bit of gold, probably on every single spot. So that's where we're at. This is a little work of art <laughs> or not. I mean, if you don't like it, it won't be art to you, but I'll be proud of it when I'm done. Okay, we're getting ready. You're seeing our, our little ones. Well, one of them. Buster, where are you headed? Hi. This is Buster. This is Baby. Hi, Baby. Hi, Sugar. What's he doing? Oh, hey, Joyce. Go tell, go tell Mark that Bruce is on the show today. <laughs> wow, this is pretty. Uh, I'm not, well, okay, it's a mixture. So some of them are like paper and some of them are nice and strong. This was a Hobby Lobby one, so we'll see. I mean, it's got cute little pine cones on it and I know that I saw a stand-up one. Oh my gosh, that's a big, big, big base. I'm a little worried when you pull that out, how far out in the in the walkway it's gonna go. Yeah. Maybe this tree's too big. <laughs> that would be bad. Yeah, that would be bad. Especially since I don't think we would be able to take it back. Don't cut yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna film us see, putting it up for the first time to see. Uh-oh, we don't have one of those things with the rubber underneath it. What do you mean? You know, the felt things that we always put underneath our trees. You think it's okay? Yeah, we can put one underneath there. No, we don't have one. We can put little felt pads underneath there. No, I don't want it sliding. There's okay. a difference. Well, it's rubber okay. or, or plastic under here. You think it's gonna be okay? I think so. All right. Should I pull this out? Oh, yes. This is our, our incognito. Electric plug. There you go. All right. Okay. And actually, after we put the plug in, we can cover it back up because it's right. just got the hole for the cord to go through. Right. All right. I'm going to stand back. Okay. Stand back. I need piece one. Oh, that's not it? No, nope, that's number three. That's the top? This one is number one. And that's the base. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a substantial base. Wow. That cord or that plug is gigantic. Okay. Wow. I don't know if that's gonna work. Well, we're not gonna be able to, if, okay. It'll we're, work. No, no, but we're going to have to put an extension cord on there because, whoa, ah, let me step away. Oh, whoa, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh, we got a lot of fluffing to do. That doesn't look like much of a tree. No, I'm a little worried. How many be, pieces are there? Got to be fluffed. Um, okay. I think five. Okay, we're going to fluff. We'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay, we have plugged it in so we could enjoy a little bit of the lights. Although they're a little sparse, I guess. They do go all the way back in, though. I do like that. They go deep into the tree. So we have... Um, oh, there's a couple more branches. I stopped early. Um, we've almost got it fluffed and ready for part two. You're doing a great job, honey. Thank you. <laughs> I love the lighting. Wow. So this is three of five. It's already five. over your head. Or is it? Maybe not when they fall down. Yeah, it'll be over our head. Your head, I meant. Like, yeah. It's already over my head. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're going to need a step stool to start doing this. Yeah. I can work over my head for a little bit. Woo! Okay. Okay, okay we're finishing up three. So, it is a very full tree. Um, I mean, it's big. I'm a, I, I am a little afraid of it. Okay, we have two more to do. All right. Are you gonna you have to stand on the stairs to get the next one in? I missed it because you were upside down. <clears throat> I don't think we could use much taller of a one. I know that we could have, but I think it would have been too tall. Yeah. There is a point, even though you have a high ceiling, that you say that's tall enough. Indoor use only. Well, okay. okay, not a problem. <laughs> wait, wait, you gotta make the branches come down. I will. Put this stuff down first. But it's it has to be in right because the yeah. lights you are on. A taller ladder too. <laughs> okay, yeah, I won't. I don't. I can maybe reach some from the staircase. But all right, it's moving a lot. Okay, he did it. He did it! Yay! I I tried. I got up on the ladder and I did what I could, but my arms would not reach. Okay. Here, I'm, I'm gonna put her on the ladder so people can see her up close. I am not sure, I just cut the tag off so I should be able to tell where she came from. We have a lot of angels, but I decided since we had a new tree, we would get a new angel. She's so pretty. I needed to make sure she was big enough. I think she is. I don't know, you know. This is how they work. That was make them these little cheap little plastic cones. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pass her up to you, babe. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think she should, oh, I think she should face, what do you, what do you think? She should face that way? What do uh, you think? Either that way or the front. What's the front? Oh, the front door? No, because then she'd have her back to everybody in the kitchen all the time. It's so high, no one's going to see her anyway. Um, yeah, get her in the cone. Get her dress all over. I guess we could have got one that... Baby. Come on, you got to do better than that. Yeah. Uh, 
How's that look? Well, it looks good, but I don't feel like she's secure. Is she secure? Yeah, I think so. All right, all right then. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, she's up so high, nobody can see her anyway, but I guess we can see her from up there. Okay. Okay, these are the ornaments. It's one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. I don't know how many are in a box. They're not all the same. There's a few in there that are a mixture of white, white and silver, um, gold and silver. And then up at the top, I've got all gold and all silver. So, and then I've got small ones that will, um, I don't know where they are right now, but I've shown them to you before. So we're going to start with that and then we're going to eat dinner and we'll have to finish this tomorrow. So it's been three weeks since we started our rotunda, the garland hanging, putting the tree up, but we never finished it. I got really, really far along and I was really happy except for the bows. And so I started with, I'm just gonna show you. I started with these. I was using what I had and I had enough of this, but I knew I wasn't gonna love it because it's see-through. Um, and I probably wanted a wider bow. I still don't think I ended up with that. It just, I don't know, it just didn't do it for me. I think I've, I've shown in the previous clips, which I haven't looked at, but I'm still gonna use. What it, oh, I messed this one up. What it looked like with this gold bow, which this is a very wide bow. So uh, I don't have as much of this bow. So um, this could be really pretty. It just didn't, I don't know, I didn't like it either. I don't even know why, because it looks like I would love it. So then I was all about white. I thought, that's it, it's gonna be white. And um, I didn't have a lot of choices when I went, I went to Michael's, which is usually where I would get my ribbon. And this one looks a little pathetic. Oh. <laughs> so I put that on and I'm not gonna say it wasn't pretty. It just kind of looked like a wedding because you got this winding staircase and these bow white bows. And it's like, I'm not going for a wedding. So I had one more because I picked it up at Walmart. I was just so in love with it. I couldn't tell. So look at it there. Do you think that's green or black? I mean, the edging is clearly green and I, I couldn't tell, but eventually somewhere, oh, maybe it was online. I looked it up and it says it's black. I don't know, but I think this is it. I know that in the greenery, it kind of gets lost, but I love the rich velvetness of it. And my goal next year already, I, I'm feeling it now. I Who knows, I'll change between now and then, but I really was trying to get that deep green in my stuff this year, and I really want to come back to that. I found, um, I'll show them once I put them on the tree, I found some ornaments, one thing at Walmart that had a deeper hunter green to it. Um, the rest of them were a pretty regular green, and there was only one box, and it was just a few of them in that box, and the box wasn't cheap. I think it was $36, so I, I really went all out just to get those few green bulbs, but I'm gonna be on the hunt for those <laughs> if you see some somewhere. I'm looking for the Hunter Green, and I don't mind if they have a little bronzy, and I love vintage, but I really do need plasticky ones because of my children, children, my grandchildren, and because it's such a big tree. If somebody sh shook it or whatever, it's gonna fall off and break and be a mess, and I don't want that, so anyway. I am gonna put these together and I'm gonna tell you what else I'm gonna do. I'll be right back. Okay, um, you, well, I'll start with this part. So I had, um, I'm pretty sure I've shown that, the um, lumineers that are gold metal. Uh, I had enough to do every other and I kinda liked it that way. So I wanted to put some candles in and um, I found this little group of 12 votives. I hope the little disc battery's in there. I hope it is. I think it is. Um, and then a remote. 
because I can't go up and down the steps every night, turning them on and off. And these should fit in there just perfectly. So I'm hoping that's gonna work out. And then on the other sides, where there's no um, luminaire, I wanted some antique vintage looking bells. And I saw some on Amazon, so I went ahead and ordered them. They came packaged like that. I was a little disappointed in the size, I have to be honest. They're probably okay for there, <laughs> um, but I really wanted something a little bigger. But they really do, they look very vintage. Um, and it's several different kinds of bells. So, and I like the rope. So that's, I'm gonna go work on tying all that together. Okay, so there's a special little thing going on um, with some YouTube creators. Uh, T from Paradise Point, which is her YouTube channel, invited several YouTube uh, creators, uh, especially new ones like me, to do a gift exchange this year and we're gonna open our gifts on camera. And um, I was paired with Joanne from The Curated Home and um, she is gonna be opening uh, my gift today as well. And, and she is a decorator and a thrifter and I am amazed at the things she finds not just, I mean, she does sales, like just after Christmas sales, I was looking at that stuff, but things that she finds at, at Goodwill or the thrift store are just things that I would cherish for the rest of my life. So I really enjoy watching when people have found these great treasures and then they, you know, they love them for the rest of their lives and use them in their decor. And some of her great um, Christmas playlists I mean, she probably has a playlist, but some of her great Christmas ones um, that I can just tell you right off the bat was her Coco uh, bar. You definitely want to see that one. And um, then she did a Hutch and she has collections on that one. She had a lot of Santa collections. And then she did Candy Cane um, uh, Dining Room Table. So if you enjoy that, uh, and I know you'll enjoy the decorating and the vintage finds that she has. Um, anyway, she's my giver of a gift. So I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna open her gift right now on camera. And it's in bubble wrap, so. Can you see me? I can kind of see. Oh, I told her I liked vintage. Oh, that's so pretty. That is beautiful. Isn't that, and you guys are just listening to me. Oh gosh, you know what she did? She picked out the colors of my butler's pantry or my dining room. Thank you so much. I love it. I mean, I'd have to find a way to display it in there. I actually, I actually have I don't know where it is right now, but I actually have a perfect little display where I can tie a ribbon and hang it, and that's what I'm gonna do. So you'll see it on the Christmas tour. Thank you, Joanne. That is so sweet. I love it very much. Hey, here is where I'm at now. I have decided to do the green, dark green velvet bow. I do not have enough, I have enough to make the bows. I do not have enough to, I'll show you I what I did up here. I have to walk. Here's the better one, because that one I did too tight. So I used the velvet also to hold my garland up and then I incorporate the tails, so there's a little bit more tails in it, into the side. Um, and then the bells, I, I hung the bells. Oh, it looks like I did, well, I've got a tag here, but I'll get it all trimmed up when I'm done. So there's the bells hanging. And I'll get further away so you can see. And then I ended up putting the little votives. There you see it. And those are remote control. I think the remote's upstairs. And then lastly, we, um, so when I did this, 
I plugged or I did the, um, I made it so that it, it could plug in up in my studio. So we had them on last night. It was so pretty. But right now, and I'm just going to go in with flex ties right now. Um, I didn't have enough of the green to finish holding up the garland. And so I told my husband's taking a trip to our boat and he's going to pass by two different Walmarts. So um, I gave him the ribbon to see if he could grab some more because I just need a little bit more, but I want to use it next year. I am really in love with this ribbon. To me, it looks dark, dark green, but it may be black. I think it really is. But with that green trim on the edge, I don't know. I just love it. Um, I'll show you when we're done. And here's the tree so far. I don't think I've shown it. So this is the just silver, gold, and some white on it so far. And then I think down here I have the um, ones I was telling you about. <clears throat> about my little pile. My little stash of stuff is right here. So there's the darker green. Actually, they're darker than they're appearing on camera and a little bronze. And we still have some of these left over. So, um, but I still have a few more trees to decorate, if you can believe it. What's today? The 14th. I have got to get moving here. So, I'm going to finish this up, you guys, and turn the lights on. And, you know, whatever I don't get done today in this video, um, hopefully I'll do a, a home tour. And I will do one. Even if it's after Christmas, I'll do one. So here we are. Um, I dimmed the lights a little bit, but not completely. So you can tell that they're on. But I don't think you can see the glow of the luminaries and um, we're not done like I've got to put garland on this back rail here still but I will probably not get to that until I've got all my trees decorated and all my rooms done so and of course I I haven't added anything else to this but I need to get this video out because I have other things that are coming up behind it so um so really this is um I mean, I just love the tree. I absolutely love it. And I like it decorated like this, but I'm gonna add more. So I finished with my bows. Um, I have ideas for next year already. I'm, uh, and I'll say that in a second, but here we go. It's, um, here's the little, I love that they flicker too. Can you see it flicker? <laughs> Okay, and then I'll, you know what? I'm just gonna be quiet and I'll just do a, a quick tour for you.
Thanks you guys for coming. I really do appreciate your time. I love your comments. Please press the like button if you enjoyed it. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It's simple, it's free. You press the subscribe button and also the little bell that is a notify button so you don't miss one of my videos. And I will see you really soon. Bye.